Hey everyone and welcome back to our next episode of Raven Creek Park and today to all surprise we are yeah basically back in the old town in the old area we are back in the forest part forest area of our zoo uh, in the last video we basically finished yeah we basically we finished um, the wetlands area the wetlands DLC area from the last DLC and now we are back in our original areas that were planned before the DLC dropped and today we are building for what might be our biggest carnivore in this park as uh, the American grizzly bear um, yeah the American grizzly um, the subspecies of the European brown bear and this habitat was um, basically a recreation or recreation but uh, was inspired by the one in Schwerin Zoo in Schwerin Zoo in uh, Germany. They have a similar one. Basically, it looks almost the same. Um, uh, and it also, what they also also do there, they the habitat is shared uh, not only by brown bears. They have brown bears there, and uh, not grizzly bears, but also by their grey wolves, um, which are next door to this habitat. And there is even planned to make this also possible here in uh, in in our Raven Creek. Um, the two habitats are basically connected by a gateway. Um, I'm just need to add gates, um, shutters, and gates to these um, yeah to these gateways so that the animals can be easily separated and managed. And for that, they are not in this video. They are not in this build yet because I still have to find inspiration for these. Um, but once I find them, we will add them, m m most likely in an end vid in the end episode of this area. Uh, once we did all the animals in the finishing episode, li just like um, the, with the wetlands area, we will add these gates. If not, I will add them in the live stream and will tell you about in some real time parts. But yeah, um, it's very simple habitat to be honest, and it's I think one of it's the fastest habitat I've, I've ever built uh, while recording. I it took me around three hours or so. Um, so this is the footage you see here, three hour footage, sped up six times. And it basically is, yeah, as I said, simple. It features um, a mode, uh, a concrete mode, because it's, uh, it's cheap as it's, and it's easy to build. And then some sloped hills that slowly raise up into the back. So from a guest perspective, you looking at a hill from the bottom and you can't really see see what's um, in the end or how far it stretches up but yeah it gives the, sp um, the idea of depth and the animals can watch over you they, they can look at you from above um, which also is beneficial for the animals welfare that we don't look um, down on them but they can look onto us and also in this part they are on eye level with us which is very helpful for their uh, yeah for their well-being um, and not and this contrary to that what was done in the old times where you basically had these bear pits um, yeah just straight up holes in the ground where they would shove in a bear and all the people would gather around this pit this um, circular pit and look at down at the bear maybe throw even some food or some, something down there so this is a huge improvement. I'm thinking about maybe adding an old bear pit, kind of like a, a museum item, um, like a reminiscent thing of, of an old part time of the zoo. But since the zoo was built in the 70s, um, we would they wouldn't have have bear pits back then. Or do they? Uh, I have to do some research. Um, when bear pits came out of uh, yeah out of fashion, so to say. But yeah, um, yeah, and it, feature, it features also a lot of, of these concrete wood walls that act like terraces um, to the different levels. Something the zoo I have this idea from also features. Um, it's just easier to manage the terrain than if you have these basically, yeah, these terraces there. And yeah, um, this is. The so second habitat in this area, the first one was <laughs> way back then, uh, the wolf habitat before the DLC dropped. I think we even spoke about the DLC in the wolf habitat um, episode. And the next plans for this area are after this grizzly bear. Um, 
are the caribou or reindeer area. We will talk about all of this uh, back then. Uh, what uh, the difference is and everything. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a long story. As well as a lynx habitat and maybe a, a raccoon habitat. Um, still fighting with myself if I will do an implied habitat with implied raccoons because we don't have them in the game yet. Maybe we get them at some point. Um, or if I just use the red panda as yeah, basically a fake raccoon because they are similar in size and one is red with stripes, other one is black with stripes. Uh, I don't see real difference and they are related to each other. So we will see how this will go and what I will do there. But this is for the future. Now we are building for the bears. Uh, a lot of terrain work this time. Um, but since I had the source material, it went very really fast. It was a lot of, yeah, um, really f looking how f um, how far away all of these things are, and a little bit of fighting with the terrain because, as you know, terrain can be a little bit bitchy. Uh, <laughs> so if I can say that myself, when it comes to um, yeah, making clear cuts and clear angles there, and but in the end, with, with all the plans that you will see in the end, um, I think. It doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too um, fake, so to say, too not realistic. Um, sorry about this. And I, I tested it around with some more of these terraces here. I will let I will later add some to the side, uh, to the right side, and we will feature um, yeah a waterfall in the middle of these two. Yeah, no, see the other two, and between these. Between these, ter between these terraces, these banks, basically, um, there will be a, a waterfall coming down from um, from the mountain be uh, behind them, um, because you are still in this mountain valley, and they are um, basically feeding this water area. And since it would be straight from the source, well, straight from the mountain source, um, the spring of this waterfall, um, there would be uh, less problem with um, the hygiene and yeah feces and everything, or controlling if it if it's clean everything. It will be a little bit easier. And yeah, sadly they can't access now that I see this. They can't access this part of the building now. This sort of river bank, um, water bank. They can't access this because there will be a lot of rocks later and. Oh boy, the grizzly bears have uh, a, a huge hitbox. Um, they are fluffy, they are cute, but oh boy, their hitbox is huge and uh, even a tiny rock causes problems to them. Um, they still have enough space. I managed to yeah, um, make it look good and give them enough space. But oh boy, <laughs> it, it looks... Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a few problems. I, I hope that, I that they would be able to access this area down uh, at the at the water area but sadly they can't they can swim in it they can access the water um, surface itself but they can't walk alongside it um, which is sad because this is what the bears in the zoo did a lot when i was there they basically walked this path um, up and down the whole time uh, might be a, a sign of stress uh, or discomfort but I wasn't yeah able to um, be there too long so i couldn't really look into that and some might say uh, these barriers, also these these viewing barriers, might be too low. Um, and the bears, which are very huge, now that I have them in game, they are enormous. Um, might be able to climb over it. Uh, yes, they are low. <laughs> it's a good point to that. Um, but they are what the other zoo also had. Um, and the water wasn't deeper there either. Um, simple tricks they do and what I also do but, but what is not in the video is having an electric fence running alongside the guest viewing area. Um, so also this means preventing the bear from yeah, trying to climb that. Um, we will later imply that you will see that in the real time part at the end of the video. Uh, we will imply this with some metal rods um, because we don't have any thing in the game that is thin enough for thin um, electric cabling. I didn't want to make them too thick because this would look a little bit stupid. So we, we only have the basically the, the, the rocks that go in, into the concrete 
and then yeah the rest is implied thus preventing um yeah the bear from climbing out and giving the people an amazing view onto the bear when they are swimming below and you also and you already saw maybe in the intro um and you will have seen the reason about that we have an albino <laughs> in this habitat um it wasn't it wasn't meant to be uh, or i didn't plan for it but when i looked at the market because i at first my first idea was to have one bear here one grizzly um but uh, then a big uh, yeah a big 100 percent size male in here and then i came across um this albino it was just by coincidence just by luck that there was an albino in the market we are still in sandbox so uh, it's really rare and I thought, okay, maybe I, I buy it, maybe I will use it at some point, or at least I have it. And now I, I kind of like it to have it in here, and it's a lot, it's very shady in, in, in the habitat, so it would be fine. Maybe I will switch it out later. But for now, it's basically the story that they are two brothers, because they are two males, they are two brothers um, that came to the zoo. Maybe they were rescued um, because their mom was killed or abandoned them. And so they, these two brothers came to the zoo, they live here, and one of them, yeah, is an albino, which is pretty rare, so they kept it, and now they have a happy life here until they uh, go into retirement, <laughs> basically, to say it um, nicely. But yeah, this is the story. And I will leave you now to the rest of the video, it's only a couple minutes, and also uh, to some nice music. And I see you then in the end time at the real time part. So see you in the end of the video and I hope you enjoyed it so far.
So, and here we are now in the real time part. And the sun just got up, just woke up and is now going over the mountains towards our little bear habitat. And if we go around the corner, we can see the full picture of it, the full habitat. And let's see if we can spot one. Uh, ah, there's, there's our little albino I talked about in the speed build. <laughs> and it's, I think it's time for the breakfast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where our other male is. Um, probably around this little uh, yeah, forest area, little corner, because I can go around it. As always, ignore these ignore these signs. They are still um, yeah. I have still have to make them. I also ha hid away um, a feeder or a feeding plate in the waterfall, so it looks like the keeper would throw the food into the water, and the bears then can pick it up. I would have loved if the food would only be fish. That would have fit more, but it's some vegetables too. I think that's important. But yeah. <laughs> And uh, he's now blocking the way and sitting here and thinking, ah, should I eat? I don't know. But yeah, um, not much change since the speed build. I added some de Okay. <laughs> I added some decals uh, to the water and to also to some of the stones here to make it l l look a little bit used, a little bit yeah, already uh, broken down. And also these are to mark that there's water. A little bit splashing onto the uh, onto the concrete, so it looks a bit darker here. And as I said in the speed build, I added these poles here alongside the whole uh, basically water barrier, um, which would be um, electrical fencing, electrical wiring to prevent the bears from climbing out. Other thing I did, uh, you can barely see it in the distance, is they are basically finishing their indoor building. There's nothing in there apart from a um, uh, yeah, a staff room and a keeper hut. Um, it just implies that's why also in also in the background. So it ha doesn't has a lot of um, details on it, and that's why I didn't put it into the speed build. Um, it's just a, a small hut that, so it looks nice from the top down. But yeah, otherwise it's okay, totally fine. So let's see where can I get down here? Uh, can I get up here? Yes. Hello. Let's see where our other bear is. And uh, as I said, this is the building, and these are the two um, gateways that yet have yet to be finished for the wolves and the and the bears. This is the wolves uh, building, this is the bears building with the doors, and then you would have two gates on both sides here, and same on the other way, so you could easily transport the animals between them. And where's our little friend? Ah, no, it just was the feeder. Ah, there he is, <laughs> sleeping in the, sleeping in the bush, <laughs> having a nice sleep. Uh, they're a little bit sleepy. Um, they're still a little bit sleepy uh, from the night's adventures. But yeah, um, going out. This is where it is now in the zoo's perspective. We have the, the entrance, and there's a big bear habitat, and this will feature later. Yeah, a, a couple of food stalls, maybe a toilet uh, stall, and. Then this will be the m uh, main area of the forest of the forest part of our little Raven Creek. Yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope um, you like what I did. If you so, maybe consider leaving a like or even a subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope I see you in the next episode next week. So until then, have a great time. Take care, and I see you then. Bye bye, everyone.